Now to the overseas search for 22-year-old American Devin Hollihan, who disappeared 10 days ago in Frankfurt, Germany. We're going to talk to his father, who's now there, in a moment. But first, NBC's Stephanie Gosk has the latest on this story. Stephanie, good morning to you. Police are searching everywhere, along riverbanks, down alleyways. They're using helicopters, boats, sniffer dogs. They've even asked Devin's friend from Prague to come back here and retrace their steps from that night. But still, there are no real leads. Investigators say they're running out of options. For a parent, it's absolutely the worst nightmare that you can imagine. And not only did we lose him, but there was a degree of uncertainty because we, he was in a foreign country. We didn't know whether he had passed to the, to the other side. We didn't know whether he was injured and needing help. So you have the additional terror, if you will, of, of not knowing whether your son is uh, alive or passed don't know what condition he's in. So there's a lot of unanswered questions. So my, my son had been missing for a little while now. He'd been living in Germany and, you know, it's a, a mother's worst nightmare. What, if, what am I supposed to do? I, I had no idea. So my friend Pam suggested I contact Deborah Martin, who was a medium. And I didn't even know what a medium was. I mean, what's a medium? So I contacted Deborah. And she had to explain what a medium was, that you know, there, she had a connection to spirit on the other side and maybe she could help me find my son. And the funniest thing she told me was that a raven was gonna tell me the answer. And it's like, what the heck does that mean? Some bird's gonna tell me the answer? Okay, spirit came through to me to tell me that a raven was going to tell Lynn where her son was. Now, even as a medium receiving that kind of information, that's a little out there, but I had to deliver the message. I trusted it. It was something that was so profound in, within me that I could not deny it. So when I delivered the message, I didn't know what it was going to come from it, but I did know that the Raven would be their answer. So, you know, I told my husband Jeff this and he just looked at me like I was insane, like some grieving mother. When Lynn told me that she had connected with Deborah, and um, that the, I think the, the quote was, the raven will show you the answer. And what am I supposed to think at that particular moment? There was, there was definitely some eye rolling going on. Uh, I didn't know what that meant. I thought she had lost it. I, and I also thought she had every reason to lose it. When you are in the situation that we found ourselves in, and you're desperate, you will look for anything. You will look to anything and anybody for an answer. And every time I would walk through the streets of Germany, I started looking at every raven and every blackbird that came my way and I would have this conversation with them. And it's like, are you my bird? Are you my raven? Are you gonna tell me the answer? At a certain point in our journey to Germany, we realized that there was a very high probability that Devin was, was gone. He had passed to the other side. We were preparing to fly home without our son. And the thought of that was as horrifying as you can possibly imagine. It was a long, painful process to get to that point. And on the last afternoon, a brutally cold, dreary, northern Germany day, Lynn decided that she needed to go down to the river. As soon as I got close to the river's edge, a raven flew down. And I look at the bird, and I knew right then and there that that was my raven. That was the one that was going to tell me the answer. And I felt this spiritual connection to this bird like none other. And I look at the bird and I look at Jeff and I know he's thinking the same thing I'm thinking. We get down to the river and I kid you not, the raven flew down right at our feet. And when that happened, I looked at Lynn. Lynn looked back at me. We looked at the raven. The raven looked at both of us. When I put my hand in the river, the bird took a drink, and, and I knew that that was the bird. He was telling me the answer, and we found out later that the next day they found our son's body in the river.